This is awesome. You guys gotta check this out, okay? You go to Wi-Fi Teether, you download pre-beta 3, it's the newest one, right? Then you open up Wi-Fi Teether. In settings, device profile, and you do not see the EVO 3D, all you see is the EVO 4G. And usually you would use that, and then you would check the MSS clamping and the routing fix, and then you would start it, and 4G would work fine, and 3G would not. Um, okay, with Beta 2, 3G would not work. With Beta 3, 3G works, but 4G doesn't. But that's because with the newest 2.3.4 update that we got yesterday, it breaks support for 4G and Wi-Fi Teether because they changed the names of stuff. And I think they changed the location too. But anyway, um, the Herald guy that is over there on the website updated it to Beta 4. And I'm going to install it real quick. Open. Menu. Settings. Device Profile. HTC Evo 3D. Ah, crap. Ah. Urgh. There. Now the 3D's on the support. Now the 3D has support. Now unfortunately, I live at home. Well, I live in an apartment that's 3 stories high. And I don't get hardly any signal at all. Um, so I'll have to go somewhere like McDonald's or something here in Kansas City and get a, a better signal. And 4G picks up great here. So I can't test whether 4G works or not. But 3G worked with Beta 3 but didn't work with Beta 2. So 3G should work fine with Beta 4. And now 4G should work as well. Unfortunately, the developer does not have an Evo 3D to test it on. So... This is exciting. Beta 4 is the first one to support the EVO 3D as a profile. This is What Would Josh Do? This is my quick little video on the newest Wi-Fi teaser update for the EVO 3D. I'm out.